Good morning, YouTube. Flippin' Grandma here. I wanted to talk today about uh, my process. Since I've been doing this for so long, it's one of the things that I've struggled with the most because I end up with this humongous, what people call the death pile, pile of stuff that's good stuff that I can list, but i too busy finding other stuff to spend any time listing that stuff. And that's how we end up with our death pile. So if I can talk to you about the process that I have now, that's not perfect, but a lot better than I used to be. I'm hoping that maybe it will help somebody. Most of the time, I would go tag sailing, spend an entire, like, eight hours hitting up all the tag sales and filling up my car and coming home with all these treasures and I'd be wicked excited about all the things that I found and I didn't always research it back then. The tools weren't always available like they are now. Basically I'd get home, empty my car, hop on the computer and start looking up the things that I found, the treasures that I found. I'd be like, ooh, wow, this one's worth 80 bucks. I'm going to put that in right here next to me so I can list that first because, you know, that'll make the most money. And the things that were only worth like $10, $5, $12, I put in the other pile, which is now known as the death pile, and they just pile up there. They're all worth something. They're not worth a lot, but they're all worth something. So there's still good stuff that I'm going to list someday. So I'd list the $80 item, I'd list the $50 item, I'd list the $45 item, and then I'd go out to exhaling again. And that's how the death pile turns into a death mountain. At least that's my experience anyway. And I'm still digging my way through. I now am down to, I think I have three of those, those buckets. What are they, like 30 gallon buckets full of the last of my death pile, death mountain stuff. It's now a death mole hill. Very proud of myself. Anyway, it's taken a long time to get here. And last summer, <clears throat> I took the things that were valued at less than $10 and I had my own tag sale. And I got rid of most of it. My goal for that tag sale was to get rid of everything. So I gave it away at stupid low prices. Um, some of the stuff I just gave away made a lot of people happy that day. It was great. That's how I got rid of a lot of the things. But back to the process that I've adopted now. Well, obviously, I'm doing better research. That's really important. When I come home from tag sales or thrifting, I put everything that I got in front of me. Actually, I keep them in the bags usually because then it's like, ooh, what's in here? I didn't remember. Oh, I don't remember what's in that bag. This is going to be fun. It's like Christmas Day all over again, even though you had just bought the stuff, right? That could be just part of getting old. I don't know. It's fun. Anyway, so I look each thing up and then I do a draft right then, right there. I don't look up the next thing until that draft on eBay is done. If it's going to get sold somewhere else on a different platform, it does get put aside, but nothing goes into the death pile anymore. So the draft gets done, and then I bring it to the little makeshift photography area that I have off of my bedroom. So that's the process. And then I go to the next thing in the bag of goodies that I don't remember what's in there. Take that out, do the next draft, bring it. It's also exercise. After that step, all I have to do is take the photos, and they're already up there, which is really convenient, and then it's, boom, listed. Once you have that draft done, as long as it's detailed, all you have to do is add the photos. Super easy. Once your photos are done and it's listed, bam, it goes over to your area where you keep all the things that you have listed and that's where it stays until it sells that way it does not end up in a death pile mountain anything bin molehill there is no such thing 
the only thing is you have to stick with the process. At least that's what I keep telling myself. And I've been doing well this year as far as sticking to that process because it actually does work. So that's all I wanted to say. I hope this helps somebody. Uh, I know it took me a long time to figure it out. So hope this helps. I'm Flippin' Grandma. Peace.